What's up, everybody? Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today, we're going to take a quick listen to Nave from Waldorf, which is a wavetable synthesizer. Before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, of course, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, guys, so today we're going to take a listen and a very quick look to Nave from Waldorf. This is a wavetable synthesizer plugin, and you can click this right here, and you will see the different presets that are included with this. They're categorized by designer or artist as well as by, um, you know, arpeggios, atmospheres, basses, drums, keys, leads, pads, and vocals. So you get a lot of patches to kind of play with. So every single sound here in this demo is from Nave. Sound effects, drums, melodic, everything. Um, I really just want to kind of show off the sounds that I created with this because it was very, very fun to just kind of load up a preset or even just start from scratch and create your own sounds with it. It's really, really good for sound design. So uh, let's have a listen. All right, so you can hear a huge variety of sounds there um, from really weird kind of melodic textures to drums to kind of sound effects. I think what I really had the most fun with was creating sounds like I mentioned, but very weird um, textural sounds and getting some weird stuff with it. Um, some of these are just presets, but most of them I have kind of gone in and tweaked things. You get a view of the wavetable here and arpeggiator down here. There are two different effects slots there. Uh, the waveform can be edited and um, customized here. And so there's a lot to do under the hood. So I just kind of want to isolate some of the sounds and show off um, some of the textures, really. This one uses the mod wheel. Um, you can see the mod wheel here. There's kind of a melodic tone to it there. But the mod wheel changes that a lot. As you can see, the resonance is very high. So you get some very weird textures there. Um, this one, I think this was just a preset. I didn't do anything to this. So if you hold that down, you get... So it seems like there's a variety of different sounds that it kind of cycles through. Um, d as you play the key, it's, it plays something different almost every time. Um, so that you really never know what you're going to get. Um, this one is a weird kind of video game, 8-bit type sound. So 
So you can do weird stuff like this. This one is a weird resonating bass type sound. Whoops, not that. This one. That, I added distortion to that. There's a few different types of distortion here. Um, the drive section there, you can choose from between a different ones as well as where it is in the signal chain. So there's uh, a bit to do with that as well to kind of experiment with and see what you get. Um, this sound, let's see here. This is a very, um, it starts out as a, as a sub bass sound because the frequency filter is so low and it rises and it gets, um, it's a variation of the sound I just played. So some really fun stuff to kind of just experiment with, go crazy with it. Um, there was no planning towards this demo. It was just me having some fun. This is a very long pad sound. I'm not playing the keys right now. It sounds really, really good. I love this sound. It takes very long to evolve and to decay, but you can go in and adjust the attack, decay, sustain, and release all inside the interface. So now we kind of take all those sounds I just showed you and with the filters, with the different, um, the filters and the resonance, um, you can already create some weird sound effects with this kind of stuff. Um, and then we have kicks and claps as well. I want to kind of focus on this texture here because it's really cool. Just kind of using it to add accents and texture to that little beat there. Now this section, um, this section kind of gets to like this sort of stereotypical trance with like, you know, plucks and super saws and stuff like that. And we are joined by Audio Plugin Pooch back there, who just went from the couch down to the floor. Uh, just if you're wondering, I know Marley's fans are out there. Um, okay, so, you know, then the demo finishes up just using those super saws and cre all the sound effects and just creating something weird and uh, wonderful with it. And, you know, I'm very satisfied with the results. I had a little bit too much fun designing with this plugin. Um, some presets, but mostly... There's only about two presets which I didn't touch at all, and we are left with something uh, a little bit weird, a little bit awesome, and a lot of fun. <laughs>